Hey people, welcome to The Run Test, it's Kieran here, and in this video we're going to be talking about readiness. Now this is kind of the new buzz metric. You'll find it in one form or another, labelled something different often, but on your Polar watch, on your Garmin watch, you'll find it on the Aura ring. You'll definitely get it with a Whoop strap. Lots of new running watches and wearables have this kind of score that's there to help guide your training, essentially to tell you whether or not you're going too hard or you need to back off and rest. But in this video, we're going to talk you through one app that could potentially transform your training and even your health for as little as 10 bucks or 10 pounds. It's called HRV for training. So let's take a closer look. So if your running watch or wearable spits out a readiness score, it tries to give you training recommendations based on how you've recovered overnight. And obviously you get those kind of recovery time estimates that look at how long you should sort of leave before you train hard the next time. All of those things are fundamentally using heart rate. A lot of the time they're also using something called heart rate variability. Now heart rate variability is a really strong indicator of how well your body is responding to things like the running stress that you put it under when you're training, but also all the other factors that come in sort of around with your daily life, your sleep quality, you know, how much stress you've got going on at work or with the family, with the kids, all of those things factor in and they all kind of become visible through heart rate variability. Now all of these different wearables from your Polar watches to your Garmin's to your Whoops, they all have various different methodologies about when, how, and how much data they use to sort of calculate those kind of heart rate variabilities. Some of them do them in the morning, some of them look at the time overnight, some of them you can do your own tests at a given time like Polar's orthostatic test. And of course they all use different tech to do it, but often it's based on an optical heart rate sensor of some description. But what a lot of these wearables also do is they take your HRV score, they also look at sleep tracking that they've done, they look at other factors and they wrap them all together and then spit out this readiness score that you'll get often first thing in the morning. Now what they're trying to do is get a picture of your, the overall impact of kind of your lifestyle on how you are in the morning and how ready you are to go out and train again. Now if you're thinking about buying a wearable for this guidance and that's your main driving factor for splashing the cash, something like Whoop for example, which that's its main reason for existing is telling you whether or not you should work hard in your training that day or not, then you're gonna to wanna to watch the next piece of video because in this video we're gonna be talking about an app that's $8.99 in the UK, $9.99 in the US, and it does everything that you need to work out if today is a day to go run hard, or you should take a little more rest. So the HRV for Training app was created by Marco Altini. He's one of the world's leading experts on heart rate variability and the science of it. Now there's not much that Marco doesn't know about HRV. Those things he doesn't know, he'll freely admit as well. The other thing to know about Marco as well is that he's a runner. At the moment he's kind of training to go to do lots of different ultras. So he's actually been doing a lot of self-experimentation using the app and applying that to work out how this kind of impacts his training or how he needs to guide his training using heart rate variability as well. So he's a brilliant guy to follow if you want to dive very, very deep into the science of heart rate variability and how it applies to his own running. But that's enough about Marco. We're actually here to talk about Marco's app. So let's take a closer look. By simply placing your finger on your phone's camera, the HRV training app can take PPG readings. And like the optical sensor in your running watch, these detect changes in blood volume during a heart cycle. By taking consistent daily tests when you first wake, the app sets your HRV baseline and uses subsequent daily readings to record your trends. That's whether your HRV is rising or falling and your personal HRV range. It also tracks your resting heart rate trends and you get some wonderfully simple guidance for that day on how to tweak your training accordingly. For example, it will say proceed as planned which means follow the training you had lined up, or that you might want to consider resting if your body is showing signs of irregular strain based on your HRV. Each test is followed by a quick questionnaire to tie the results to what's happening in the real world, building a picture of the stresses that affect you most, whether that's bad sleep, alcohol, traveling, uh, muscle soreness, all of those kind of things are captured in a really, really quick questionnaire 
that gives some context to those readings. You can use other wearables such as Aura Ring, Apple Watch, and Bluetooth chest straps to record your HRV readings if you want to. And you can change the chest duration and type. So you can also do an orthostatic test. That's like the ones that Polar uses for its Recovery Pro feature where you put on the chest strap and lie still for a few minutes. Workout info can be automatically pulled in from Strava, Training Peaks, Trainers One, and Apple Health. And the app will also estimate VO2 max. And really interestingly, it will tell you how confident it is that that estimate is correct. It'll also estimate your lactate threshold, providing you with an estimated pace that you should be able to hold for seven to nine minutes. It's priced at a one-off fee of $8.99 in the UK or $9.99 in the US. And it's also available on iOS and Android. So the test then, well, I've been using HRV for training for quite a while now. I used to use things like, I'd look at the kind of recovery time recommendations, you know, training recommendations from things like the Garmin watch. I was very, very much kind of a fan of Polar's own kind of ecosystem when it came to kind of recovery information. All of those things. I've also got the Aura Ring, which I've been using for a long time. I have recently been testing the Whoop 4.0 as well, and I've been comparing all of these things. But I'm going to say this, like HRV for training has basically replaced pretty much all of those in terms of me using it as the thing that now guides how hard, when, what I do in my training, also in my daily life when I might need to kick back and you know not have such a stressful day because it does that as well. HRV basically gives you an indicator of everything that's going on in your life. How much impact is that having on me? How is my body responding um, so not just my training, but other things can be having a negative effect, sleep, all of those things. So HRV for training, it's so simple, I think, that it's now become my kind of go-to. Now, the test I find really easy to do. So most of us, I, th I think, still sleep with our phones by our beds. We probably should leave them downstairs plugged in so that they're not a distraction, but hands up if you do. I certainly do. It's right by my bed. So in the morning when I first wake up, it's very easy for me to reach over, pick up my phone, put my finger on the the camera, it uses the, um, the phone's got a main camera and lie very still for one minute whilst it conducts the test. That has become something that I've found super convenient, much more convenient than getting out of bed, putting on a cold chest strap, wetting the electrodes or whatever and lying down then for a longer test, for sort of five minutes longer. Or no, there's another piece of kit I've used called Prevail, which is uh, smart apparel, which has built-in electrodes and a pod now, this will do the same kind of thing. It will give you a kind of readiness score, a reading of how hard you should train, but you've got to put that piece of kit on, get back into bed, lie down, or lie on the floor or something. Reaching over to your phone and doing this, I think there's a superb convenience to this app. It's so simple. It takes about a minute. The other thing I really like is after you've done the test, HRV for training will tell you whether or not you've had an optimal signal for the reading from your finger, because sometimes maybe you don't get your finger placed on the camera lens properly but it will again it will fess up and tell you when that's not right so you can redo the test if you haven't got optimal data big thumbs up here the other thing that i think is really good is the questionnaire you it takes about a minute to fill in there's pro probably about 10 to 12 questions there's sliders um some kind of yes or no answers but basically it's asking you things like you know how do you feel this morning how hard did you train yesterday what was your rate of perceived exertion yesterday during the training did you have alcohol uh is your muscle are your muscles sore were you able to stick to a regular kind of routine or are you on traveling so it's difficult to do what you need to do? Did you have poor sleep? Did you have good sleep? All of these sort of contextual things, they all affect the result you've got from your HRV, but it gives you context as to why that number with your heart rate variability might have risen or fallen that day. Now, the other thing you can do in the app is when you really kind of zoom out, you start to see patterns over longer periods of time with icons along the bottom that are nicely kind of placed and you can tab through them to sort of see how these different factors that you've recorded in the questionnaire have affected your HRV. So you can start to see, okay, did I have, you know, was I traveling many days? Did I train yesterday? When I trained, what happened to my HRV? When I had alcohol, what happened to my HRV? All of these things now become very visible and you can spot trends much more easily. And the other thing I really like it is that it makes me think about what happened to me yesterday, what my day was. I wasn't just looking at a number and going, okay, it says I'm a 76 readiness because I've had a bit of poor sleep, off you go. I have to actually sort of analyze what my behavior was yesterday and how I feel right now in the moment. And then it helps me make decisions about what I might want to do today. So one of the things obviously it will do is tell you whether or not you should proceed as planned, stick to the training plan that you had originally. That's fine, everything's good. Heart rate variability is in range. Go ahead, crack on with what you were gonna do or rest. 
but then you've got this questionnaire that's made you really sort of think about, okay, what I what did I do yesterday that might have negatively impacted me or what has positively impacted me? And you start to sort of key into your own sort of in- intuition and your own feelings and it makes you much more aware of your lifestyle habits and your training habits day to day and how these kind of influence everything. You know, other devices often spit out scores without this step and I think it's something that they really miss. There's another really good thing, you know, some people talk about the negativity of sort of heart rate variability or having these scores in the morning you look at before you go and do a race because, you know, in the morning you slept badly last night, you got a race this morning, there's nothing you can do about it. So in the HRV for training app, one thing you can do is switch off the score that you get after you've done the test. So you can still do the test and you've still got that data, but you don't go to your race start with a negative number in your head, uh, which might kind of negatively fulfill itself you know if you know psychologically it might get in get in your head particularly important i guess if you're sort of competing at a fairly high level or you've got a, you've got big goals but that's a nice touch that you can just kind of almost go blind but still have the data there to look back on afterwards now one of the things that the other wearables are doing in this space they're, they're kind of trying to give you a readiness score to make everything sort of almost nice and simple it's all wrapped up in one it's taken kind of it's tried to assess your sleep it's tried to assess everything else that you did yesterday it's tried to kind of look at you know your overnight kind of recovery and then put it into one score that you can go okay all of those things together mean that i'm ready or not ready the truth is though that, that heart rate variability is actually the sort of your body's physiological sort of um signal for how well you've coped with all of that other stuff already and so hrv really is the metric (laughs) that matters most because if you sleep badly your hrv will probably suffer or if you've done those other things it will probably suffer so on one hand although this app i think might appear a little bit sort of sports sciencey and a bit deep actually i think it does a really good job of throwing out a couple of really simple readouts and simple metrics that make it very easy to look at it really quickly and within 15 seconds have an idea of where you're at that day. If you want to go much deeper and you want to start to add, you know, you can tag things, you can, you know, you can analyze this to the nth degree. There are lots of comparative tables. There are lots of trend tables that help you kind of really peer into sort of trends around how HRV is affected by sleep or it might be affected by kind of other stresses and and how your body has coped. Now I can hear you all screaming the obvious question, how accurate is it? (laughs) How accurate is it to compare all these things against the other devices? You know, sometimes Garmin's readouts and Polar's, they can can be up and down, you know, they can be chop and change. I've actually, often in the past, I've I've worn multiple devices against, and you know, you can wake up one morning and one of them will tell you, yeah, go for it today. You're, you know, you're you're solid from what you did overnight. Another one is saying, actually, you're in the bin, sit on the sofa all day. And I know this sort of even from side by side throughout all my training, so there's, there's a reliability question with a lot of this technology. The one thing about HRV for training, it's scientifically validated. So Marco, being you know, a scientist first and foremost, has made sure that the technology and the background to this app is absolutely nailed on. He also tests it up against lots of other devices. And it's why he's opened up the app to allow certain devices that he thinks have the accuracy that's required and work in the way that's required to power HRV that you can plug those in, like the Aura Ring, uh, you can also test with the Apple Watch. You can also pair chest straps. And if you go to Marco's site, there's some recommendations on which chest straps that you should reach for first. But in terms of using your phone's lens, that camera, to do this heart rate tracking, according to the research, it's as accurate, if not more accurate, than many of those other devices that might be using a wrist-based optical heart rate sensor. In terms of accuracy, what I want to speak about here is how I felt when I'd used HRV for training and when I got those scores in the morning about my own readiness. I've just come through a bout of COVID for a week and it absolutely picked that up. HRV went in the bin. Uh, as I sort of came through COVID, my, my HRV kind of responded. My body sort of went through that wave of, of getting over the infection and starting to be able to handle it more. I've also been able to kind of track my HRV using this when I've had heavy days of training. Re- recently just went through a bit of travel as well where we were up every morning at the we we're actually at the ASICS Metaspeed Sky Plus launch video on the channel and we we're up at like four or five every morning for early flights for early shakeout runs do double runs those days and yeah I could see that the HRV readouts and the you know the, the actual worded recommendations kind of matched how I felt that day you know on days when I was really sort of struggling it did say that I should sort of take a bit of an extra time out I wasn't always able to but it kind of matched how I felt in the real world for sure. The other one I wanted to talk about really was I managed to have a look at my response based on one night of drinking more than I should have. So in the questionnaire it will say, did you drink alcohol last night a little or too much? I had one night where I definitely had too much and 
yeah, it absolutely picked that up as well. The following day, I was exhausted. I had to get up really early after having a few beers. And both those things combined, collided. HRV for training in the morning, picked it up, told me that I certainly shouldn't be training that day. And it was absolutely right. I wouldn't have wanted to train that day. I think I would have been potentially a, a pretty big injury risk. So I find the information display in the app pretty clear, pretty concise, pretty easy to use. There's good explanations when for things that you don't know, it sort of tries to elaborate on what all the information is, what the graphs mean, what the tests mean. You can jump out and go and dive deep into the science behind all of these things. Again, Marco's background, that's his natural go-to. He wants to sort of display that, that this is, you know, the, the latest thinking on all of this um, in the app. And the other thing is it does change, the app will change fairly regularly if that thinking also changes. Um, but the design, I think, is, yeah, nice and simple, nice and easy to interpret. I would say it's actually much, much simpler than something like the Whoop strap. I think it takes a lot of that complication that you get with Whoop out of the equation. Obviously, it doesn't do workout tracking like Whoop, but HRV score <laughs> wraps in that workout tracking because it shows what, how your body has responded to yesterday's training anyway. So my verdict on the HRV for training app then is that this is an absolute steal. For less than 10 bucks, 10 pounds, one-off payment, I think it's an absolute bargain. So if you're looking for something that will give you simple guidance on how hard to train that day or whether or not you might need to rest and something that has the capacity for you to go kind of very, very deep into that as well, you've got simplicity and complexity all in one app. Compared to some of the other devices that are available where you're going to invest quite a lot of money in the hardware, things like the Aura Ring, things like a Whoop strap, you know, even the information that you might be getting from specific wearable kind of running watches, then HRV for training, I think, offers great value. Bearing in mind that some of these other devices also have now moved to a subscription model where you're going to be paying more than you're going to pay for HRV for training as a one-off payment month to month to month. So this offers great value for me. It's really simple to use. It offers you brilliant information. It's constantly evolving. It's made by one of the people who knows this subject the very best in the world. And yeah, it's become such an easy part of kind of my daily training habits. And it takes kind of less than two minutes to get all of that information as well. And you don't even have to wear anything. So you don't have to wear anything in bed if you want to get that information in the morning too. So I think the HRV training app is a real steal at the price. I think it's well worth a look if you want to get a little bit more into managing your training intensity and managing your training schedule using heart rate variability. So that's my review of the HRV for training app. As always, if you have any questions about what's gone on in this review or about the app itself, you want any more information on it, feel free to hit us up in the questions below. We'll do our best to answer all of those. We might be able to even put some of those to Marco if you have specific questions. But yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and ring that bell to find out when we've got kind of other reviews coming up on the channel. We've got some great stuff coming your way. New watches, loads of new shoes. We'll be diving deep into kind of tech like this. We might even, we might even get to doing the comparison of the Aura Ring versus the Whoop 4 at some point if you're interested in those two. Um, it's been a pleasure to talk to you as ever and uh, hope to see you again soon on the channel. Thanks for watching.